By sea, a ship arrives at port. By air, cargo unloaded. And by ground, the transport of important components. All part of the assembly process of a giant rocket to get it ready to blast two satellites into space. One satellite for defense from India, the other a telecommunications satellite from the Arabian Gulf nation of Qatar. Weather permitting, the rocket will blast into space on Thursday from the European spaceport here in the most unlikely of places in Kourou, French Guiana, the Amazon territory of France and South America. French Guiana has been uh, chosen because of the uh, geographical so, uh, situation uh, close to the equator, because uh, also the launch pad is open towards the sea and there is, uh, let's say, no risk at all uh, to uh, launch uh, over the sea and uh, because there is also no risk of uh, hurricane in this area. As Sahal-1, the Qatari satellite represents the first time the gas-rich nation has reached for outer space. The satellite is expected to have an orbit life of 15 years and primarily be used to beam a larger array of television signals to the Middle East and North Africa. The Qatar Space Agency, for them, this is a very historic moment. The Space Agency has only been around for a few years and Qatar says they plan to launch more satellites from rockets such as this in the coming years. First, they need to get this satellite into orbit, particularly the job of Qatari engineers who arrived here to be part of the launch. Outside, the rocket was moved into final position for countdown, taking with it the goods that will bring Indian Qatar a little closer to outer space. Gabriel Ozando, Al Jazeera, Kourou, French Guiana.